You don't want to say that you're just a tourist because even if you plan to go there for a short time, because then the girls can think that you're just looking for one night stands or that you're just like a sex tourist. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I wanted to talk about what to do if you're going on a trip or if you're going to a new city, if you're relocating and moving to a new city. What are the different considerations that you should do in advance and once you get there in order to get the whole game system up and running at an optimal rate. Okay, so we're gonna cover all the different things you should do. And again, if you're, you don't have any plans on moving, this applies for when you go to travel as well. So this is gonna be very useful or for when you do eventually move to a different city. If you're not yet a subscriber, this channel offers straightforward, practical, no bullshit dating advice. You can jump on a free 30 minute call with me where I can show you how I can get you very, very, very good at the game very quickly. We'll walk through a customized game plan and I'll show you how I can take you from whatever level you are at, whether beginner, intermediate, even advanced. I even get guys signing up with me once in a while that are at like 300 lay count. Okay, there's value I can provide at any given level. Okay, if you think of all your different skill levels in the game, okay, with online game, with day game, night game, uh, texting, online game messaging, running your dates, closing your dates, retaining the girl, all those things have a system behind it. Okay, and all those skill levels that you have in each of those areas have a numeric value from zero to 100 with 100 being the best. It's my job to get you as close to 100 in each one of those as possible, regardless of your skill level. Okay, so do not hesitate. Jump on a free 30 minute call with me. Link in the description. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below as well. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you decide you're going to be going on a trip or you're going to be moving to a new city, you want to set your Tinder in advance, okay, to that other new city. So you're going to go into your Tinder settings. It's called like passport to a new location. You're going to change the location. And then you're also going to turn off the distance that you are from that girl because you're going to be far away. You don't want to display that you're really far away and her thinking, well, what's the point of swiping on this guy or, or talking to this guy? He's really, really far away. He was probably just here visiting. So you turn off your distance thing in the settings. You need at least Tinder Plus to do this. It's one up from the free account, either Plus, Gold, or Platinum. And that's going to allow you to switch to a new city. Okay. So when I went to take a trip to Colombia, for instance, in Medellin, two weeks before, I switch my Tinder to Medellin. I turn off my distance so they can't see that I'm in another area. And then I start swiping, okay? And, and you always wanna say that you're a local. You never wanna say, like if you're going to another country, you don't wanna say that you're just a tourist because even if you plan to go there for a short time, because then the girls can think that you're just looking for one night stands or that you're just like a sex tourist and that's going to turn them off in a lot of cases, okay? So what I tell them after the match is I say, hey, I'm actually, traveling right now, so I pretend like I'm there already in the city, but I say that I'm, I'm traveling away from the city and I'm returning on the day that I'm actually arriving for real, okay? Or I'll say that, hey, I'm, my schedule is really busy until such and such date, and that's the date that I'm actually arriving in the city. So what you can have done is you can stack up a whole bunch of dates, multiple a day, for that whole first week that you've arrived, okay? So you can literally arrive in the city for the trip or for the, the relocation, and now you just have dates stacked up multiple a day all throughout the week, okay? So that's how you do that. And by the way, I'm sporting, uh, we just did the first session of the Phoenix. Here we have Thor's father, Odin, and a raven and the Thor hammer. And now we're doing a, a full length Phoenix on my long arm here. I'm about to embark on 10 more hours of tattooing today. Then he's have to return to do the shading. Fun times. So, um, and shit loads of compliments from girls, by the way, including girls that are close to a 10 that are on my rotation that are saying that it looks super, super sexy and they're all, I'm getting the feedback that it's like a bad boy look, etc. Okay. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to do research into the best spots to do night game and day game. And the best way to do this is search best clubs, city name, best bars, city name. Then what you're going to want to do is take those clubs and bars you're going to want to go to Google Maps and type in venue name space capacity. Okay, let me repeat that. The venue's name space capacity. You want to find out the capacity of each venue so that you can find the biggest venues, okay? And then you want to find out which venues are good on what nights. So you can go to the websites of those, of those sites. You can see which nights they have events, etc. And that's going to prepare you in advance to really hit the ground running uh, once you get there so you know where to go out. And the, and the reason why you want to prioritize by capacity is the more people in a venue, the more girls in a venue, 
the more chances you have to meet more girls. You don't want to basically you don't want to go to the, the smaller venues unless you have to, just because you're going to run run out of people to talk to. Okay, so if you can go into a big venue, it's basically unlimited sets. Now you can get lots of phone numbers. You can run lots of game, do lots of practice. Okay, for a daytime game, you're going to want to find out where there are parks or you know, areas where people, where there's heavy foot traffic, anywhere where people walk around the city. You can do that by looking up research as well. In terms of a wingman, if you don't know anyone there already in the city, you're going to want to just cold approach guys, okay, as gay as that sounds. That's how you can find a good wingman. When I moved to Texas, for example, into Fort Worth, my friends weren't coming for like three or four weeks. I went out solo to a, a really hot venue. There was this dude, he was all jacked with tattoos and shit like that. He looked like a cool alpha guy. I walked up, walked up to him, I was like, hey, I'm pretty good at hitting on chicks. I think at this time I was only, I shouldn't say only, like 700 lay count, seven, seven, eight hundred lay count like that. And I said, I'm pretty good at getting girls, but my friends haven't moved to the area yet. I don't have anybody to go out with. I'm looking to meet people to go out and hit on girls with. And he's like, oh yeah, dude, here, meet my buddies, this and that. And he ended up being a manager at a local Hooters, so I got all the hookups and intros into all the Hooters staff and a banging a whole bunch of the Hooters girls. And then I was in with his whole social network as well because I would meet his friends and then they would introduce me to their friends. And then you just proactively plan going out with people to do game or whatever or just to hang out and shoot the shit and now you have a new friend group, okay? So to recap so far, you wanna move your Tinder, okay, and you need at least Tinder Plus or higher to be able to passport your Tinder to, to a different location. You're gonna to wanna to front load a whole bunch of leads at least one week in advance, if not two, okay? You don't wanna do it for too, too long uh, in advance because the leads are gonna go cold before you get there. But I tell them that I'm very busy or that I'm traveling until X date anyways. So a comfortable amount is one to two weeks in advance. That's going to give you a whole bunch of leads so you can hit the ground running. Then if you don't know anyone, you're going to want to talk to cool looking guys when you go out, when you go out solo, and just casually say, hey, not sound fucking weird or anything, but I just got to the city, I'm looking for people to go out with and hit on girls with, okay? Or I'm looking for people to hang out with, right? My friend, I'm brand new to the city. And, and if they're like, no man, you're fucking weird, get out of here, which I've never had happen. I haven't, I haven't done that a whole lot anyways, but um, most people are going to be like, Either, yeah, it's cool, or like, no, thanks, I'm not interested. No big deal either way, okay? So make sure you're doing that. Then with the venue research, you have to find out where are the hot nights on what nights and what the capacities are of the venues. And then it's just trial and error, okay? So say you're like, okay, this seems to be the best shot for a Friday. You go, it's dead, okay? Try a different spot. And then you're gonna get in the rhythm of here are the best spots. So you should have like a good go-to spot for every night of the week. If you wanna go out on those nights, you know where to go. Okay, and you should find good day game spots. Basically, the criteria there is just a lot of foot traffic during the daytime. Okay, so in New York City, for instance, Union Square, Washington Park, the High Line, et cetera, those are, New York City is one of the best places for day games, so it's a little bit easier there. But you wanna just find, you know, a good go-to is if there's a, a string of bars or restaurants, there's going to be a lot of foot traffic going in and out between those, okay? And lastly, the other major important item that I wanna cover is you're going to want to find the closest date venue spots near your house, okay? So that can be coffee, that can be drinks, it can be a restaurant, it doesn't matter. You want to go for like casual coffee or drinks, nothing fancy. If there isn't anything like that available, and there only happens to be like restaurants or other things like this, then you pick those. But you want to pick somewhere that's very close, preferably walkable, or at the very least a short cab ride. And then that's going to be where you run most of your dates, okay? so. What we've discussed in this video is going to help you front load leads with your online game. It's going to help you know where to go out once you get to that city. It's going to help you have a proper wingman and social circle of friends. And you're also going to have a go-to spot where you can go on dates. Okay, so all those things considered is going to allow you to hit the ground running so that your trip is the most productive. What you don't want to do and what most guys do is they just arrive blind in the city. They're like, hmm, I don't know which clubs are good, and I have no Tinder leads, I'm gonna start swiping. And now your whole first week or two is just a waste. And if you're on a short trip, then you just blew the whole fucking trip. Okay, when I arrived in Columbia, I had like two or three dates stacked every day for that whole first week, okay? So I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn my entire system, my entire blueprint A to Z, the best system hands down in the whole industry, with more proof of my results than the rest of the coaches combined in the entire industry, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, the link is in the description. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below.
and press the notification bell for new alerts every single day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.